It's amazing that such a tiny little thing can cause so many problems. With so many different brands and types of cards out there, it's really understandable that a new GoPro owner would be confused, especially since some of the packages actually say that it's compatible with a GoPro camera. But that packaging can be a little bit misleading. I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. So if you have the new GoPro Hero 7 or even the 5 or 6, there are some specific brands and types that GoPro actually recommends for each camera model. So we're gonna break that down in this video. They have a handy chart at gopro.com here's what it looks like and if you have a hero 7 whether it's the black silver or white the sandisk extreme 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte is what gopro is recommending in fact the sandisk extreme cards are the only ones that are recommended across the board for all gopro models whether it's the extreme extreme plus or extreme pro as long as it says extreme and not ultra, then you're good to go. And I almost hate to even use the word ultra because I guarantee someone's gonna watch this video and they're gonna say, so can I use the ultra? No, it's not known to be compatible with GoPro cameras, although some GoPro users say that it works fine for them and for others, it doesn't work fine. So just stay away from the ultra and go with the extreme just to be on the safe side. And down below this video in the description box, I put direct links to all of the cards that GoPro recommends for the Hero 7. Some other cards to look for for the Hero 7 are the Lexar 1000X, the Samsung Evo, and the Sony SR-UZA series. Personally, I've had excellent luck with my SanDisk Extreme memory cards. I have a couple of regular SanDisk Extremes, and I asked the friendly folks in my GoPro Enthusiast Facebook group what cards they're using and having success with, and for the most part, there was really no surprise. The SanDisk Disk Extreme came up a lot, so did the Lexar and the Samsung Evo cards. By the way, if you are a member of my GoPro Enthusiast Facebook group, then uh, give me a little fist bump emoji in the comment section. As far as choosing capacity for your memory cards, I like to go with a 64 gigabyte. 32 is okay as well. Personally, I usually have a 64 gigabyte card in my cameras and I leave the 32 gigabyte kind of uh, just in my bag as a backup memory card. It is really, really a fantastic idea to carry more than one memory card because you never know if you have some weird memory card error, which happens. Um, and you might just need to s switch them out. And so as long as you have a few extras with you, then you'll be good to go. And no matter what brand you choose for your GoPro memory card, just always make sure that when you have a brand new card, you format it in the camera before you start using it. So to avoid wasting money on a memory card or even worse, missing shots or losing footage that you've already shot on your GoPro, just know the memory cards that are compatible with your camera. Stock up on Amazon. Like I mentioned, I put direct links down below this video and then you won't ever have this question of compatibility or confusion around your memory cards. And if you're out and about in the tech section of Walmart or Best Buy or Target or maybe even in your grocery store, you might find that some of the packaging on the memory cards um, will say that it might it's compatible with a GoPro, or it's compatible with an action camera, or it's compatible with 4K. Don't go by what it says on the packaging. Check GoPro's website. Just do a Google search for GoPro memory card compatibility while you're standing right there in the aisle in Walmart or Best Buy and just double check because you never know when that card was manufactured, when it was packaged. It could be two or three years old. It could be compatible with a previous model GoPro but not the model that you have. So don't go by what it says on the package. And if you like shopping for memory cards, you might also be interested in some accessories. So be sure to check out my video on five accessories that every GoPro newbie needs. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.